welcome to the section about getting started with Django. And before we take a look at the blog project that you're going to be building in this section, let's just talk in general about why would you want to use a web framework in the first place. So the reason for this is that the web as a structure, as a, as a system, grew organically. Like it started as a little seedling, kept growing over time until there were like lots of new technologies that kept getting stuck on top of each other and kind of like uh, arranged to interoperate. So there's HTML, there's CSS, there's JavaScript, there are databases that you have to interact with, there are backend languages, there's like Python is one of those, there's this database interactions with SQL, and it just kept growing and growing so that it's this very, very, very big thing that is just really a complex mess. So it's it's hard to get a grasp of what's going on and how to like handle everything that needs to fit together to properly work a web app or anything that you want to publish on the web. There's just so much that goes into that. And the idea of a web framework is essentially just that it automates repetitive web development tasks it allows you to abstract database interactions. So you maybe don't have to write SQL as a pure language and cutting down one of the <laughs> languages you need to know for web development. It handles URL requests and URL mapping for you, provides templating frameworks and uh, allows you to, to generate HTML sites on the go with like a language that is more familiar to you. And it helps with security caching sessions, etc. So web frameworks help you with all of these things. And to just sum it up in one quick go, web development is a mess and web frameworks are is web development simplified. Okay, so that's why you would want to use a web framework in general. And in the next video, we're going to talk about why you would want to use Django as a web framework.